Welcome to Park Beyond. This game is about building up your own theme park and stuff. There's a campaign, the sandbox. And I'm going to say the standout feature about this game is something they've called impossification. Basically, you can defy the laws of physics and stuff like that and upgrade your rides so they go from a standard ride to something really crazy. Not only that, you can alter the terrain. You can create like holes in mountains and have your roller coasters go through them and stuff. And this is the open beta. It's available right now for any of you that want to play. Just simply go to the Steam store page, request access, and you should be invited into it like almost immediately. And this game is set to release on, I believe, the 15th of June, so not long at all. And I'm really, really looking forward to the full release for it. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Uh, we recommend playing the campaign where all game features... Oh, okay. Uh, I'll start the campaign instead. Ambitious beginnings. Did you know that dreams grow larger when they are shared? This is the story of a family of dreamers, and it starts right here tonight in your own backyard. Okay, here we go. Some of these rides look really, really fun, but some just look far too scary. And I'm hoping we do well. I think we'll do all right in the campaign, but I think Sandbox is where I'm going to struggle to keep a profit coming in. Yeah, some of these rides just look odd. Oh, here we go. It's wake up time. So yeah, I think we'll start with the campaign and then if we enjoy it that much, we'll go into a sandbox and make our own big sort of theme park. Right, so we've woken up late. And our roller coaster just derailed. I have no idea what's going on. This is still cutscene. Oh no, what are we doing? Why are we going to chuck the paper aeroplane out of the window? I had a design on it for a ride. And we caused an explosion. Hey, you hit me! Would have been even cooler if it had exploded into confetti, but still, great shot! Okay, let's check the camera. So can I use WASD? Oh, you can move with the right mouse or with WASD. So zoom. Wow, we can zoom out far. And we can also zoom in really far too. Look at the detail on the tires. Right, and then rotate. Rotating is done with the middle mouse. Your current goals are displayed in the bottom right corner. Open the help center in the upper right and select the roller coaster build and help screen. Coasters. Here we go. Building your roller coaster is simple. Move your track to where you want it to go and press, I'm guessing, there's left to place it. You can exit placement with the mouse if you want to adjust or delete certain segments. Press the mouse on the orange track icon again to continue building. If you're unhappy with your placement, don't worry. You can select the track segment and remove it by pressing delete. Find the track icon. Here we go. So if we click on that. So am I placing it right on there? 
Oh wait, this paper plane wants to go over to here. Wait, can we... Oh. Oh, we can do the height. Oh. One of the first steps is to learn how to create a curved track. There's only one help with... Oh, okay. To do this, you can adjust the yaw of it with R and then move in the mouse. You also have an option to straighten it by pressing F. Okay. So if I hold... I'm guessing I just have to curve it around here. Oh no, that's too curved. There we go, so what now? Do we get to watch it? Do we get to see our creation? Nicely done, friend. I suppose introductions are in order. I'm Blaze. Blaze Ultra. I know, I know, it sounds weird. Ultra wasn't my birth name. No, that's Megatronic. I'll ask a blaze a question which interests you. You can help me build my dreams or no way you uh you can help me build my dreams. This option doesn't affect the mission goals. You betcha. Anyone can have a dream. What makes it special is making them happen. And I have a special talent for making things happen. Okay, it's usually accidents, but they're almost always the fun kind of accidents. Like when you walk away before the vehicle explodes. Or meeting you. I do a lot of wild and crazy stuff, but I've never seen anything quite as out there as your roller coaster designs. And I like it. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think our meeting can't be a coincidence. I mean, coincidences happen all the time. But it's no fun if you don't pretend they mean something. Tell you what. You've just been deputized. Phil Bailey wanted me to test these roller coaster modules Cloudstormer are developing, but he didn't tell me how he wanted me to do it. You've heard of Cloudstormer, right? Great company. Not doing so great lately. Bet someone with your vision would have awesome ideas about how to use the stuff Phil has thought up. Am I right? Don't look at me like you've got a choice. You know this is happening. Let's see what you can do with some serious roller coaster kit. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Build to reach the paper plane. So if I if I rotate it this way, straighten it up a little bit. There we go. Now that we've covered curved, let's learn how to change the height. Okay, I saw that one left shift. If it doesn't have enough momentum, it will not reach the top. Cars can be pulled upwards with chain lift tracks. Remember to switch back to normal for downhill and flat segments. So chain lift. How high up are we going? Just up to there. Okay, we'll do that. And then... Oh wait, let's place it all the way up. No, 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 no. How was it I delete previous? It was like there, right? And then back to normal. Oh, the, it keeps going up. Why is my placement so odd? Chain lift. Oh... That's curving it too much. Oh, this is going to be some horrible uh, roller coaster. <laughs> to complete your next objective, the test train needs to reach the paper plane. The icon over it will indicate this. You can control the speed of it via the panel. This way you can fast forward it to where you need it to be or check. Okay. If it crashed or lost all of its momentum, you can reset it by selecting the reset button. So that's up there. The speed's down there. Uh, okay. 
So, what do we do now? Can I not come out of building? I can. Oh, no. Hold up. How do I reset? Oh, reset the train. It's down there. So, the train comes out. Goes down, picks up a lot of speed. Oh, it's made it further round this time. But it won't go up there. Okay, so this segment here needs editing, chain lift. That should be okay. Let's speed up the train just to get to that part. Okay, let's keep this going. Go, 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 hit the chain lift. Yes, carry it up there. Carry it all the way up. I should probably have moved this track. I was aiming it like here and it was building it over there. But it's made it with the chain lift. It made it to the very end. Don't forget to deactivate the chain lift and switch back to normal if you aren't building upwards anymore. So where are we building to? Where's that paper plane gone? Oh, it's down there. Right, it won't let me straighten this up anymore. So, I'm going to go... Yeah, this is normal track. If we go here, and then start lowering. I don't want it to be too steep. See, the placement seems to be a lot better now. Don't forget to enable it. This building's quite tall. No! Oh, we were so close. I can't... Oh, wait, no. Lifting it more does work. I made it to the plane. Do I really have to move that? So make the test train reach the hospital roof. Okay, so if we reset it, we'll speed it up. Where is that train? There it is. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You see it's going down. And it's got to climb all the way up. Chain lift's going to take it all the way to the top, so we're good for that. Just wait until it gets up here. Well done. Now build the track down to ground level and reach the helipad area. Oh, well, that's quite steep. So if I click on the normal track, I want to lower it a bit more. And I'm guessing that's it. Can't seen, so it probably is. I have some modules that look like abandoned prototypes for some kind of stunt show. I mean, it's just a circus cannon and a motorcycle ramp. Not sure you can use these. Which module would you like to use for your coaster? A stunt ramp? No, let's go with a cannon. Amazing idea. Who doesn't want to be fired out of a cannon, am I right? Although, there's never enough gunpowder for my taste. I really want to feel my hair getting singed. Uh, I, I don't think you do want to feel your hair getting singed. Uh, let's go. We're adding a cannon. Besides the usual track placement, you can also use various modules to create the craziest of roller coasters out there. Shoot your coaster across the gap using the cannon, which is now unlocked. You can use the modules menu. For now, you only have a cannon, but there are plenty more to come. The cannon launches the train at high speed over a large distance. So we're placing a cannon. But there it is, cannon. You know what? We'll go... There. And it shoots over to there. Well, there we go. That's... That's perfect. So have I got to test it? There, reset. We'll go eight times until we get to almost up here. The train's there. Wait, where's my chain lift? This is supposed to be chain lift. I don't know why that switched to normal. Right, so it's coming now. We'll double the speed up the hill. And then here we go, we get to see the cannon. Ready, it's going to drop down. Into a cannon.
Whoa, look at that! This is already fun and crazy and we're just getting started. That's another big city block ahead of you. Use your imagination and continue with the coaster. So the plane's traveling all the way over to here. So we can go any way we want, but that's where we have to finish. Look at this. I see why they've said use your imagination. But that's gone there. So now if we lift it up, but let's do chain lift one more time to get through this side here. Oh, please work. And then I want normal track coming down. Down through there. That's, that's got to be fun, right? Almost there. Make it reach the top of this building. If you can't make it, check your track and see if you need the chain lift somewhere. We'll slow it down just before the cannons. We need to be able to see where it is. It's over here. It's coming over. And then it speeds down into the cannon. Gets fired across. Comes along the track. Keeps going at a steady pace. Makes it safely through there. Then we've got chain lift taking it up. And it goes through that there. Comes out the other side safely. Then goes down and through the top of there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now we've got to make it up to that roof. There we go. So make the test train reach the rooftop. So if I reset it, go times eight, we'll slow it down when it gets to here. And then it starts going down there. Here we go. So we can check the final part of it. Chain lift is doing its job. Nice. You did it. Just one more step to reach the park on the other side. It looks like Blaze is waiting for you down at the paper plane. Um, we place the first bit there, and we lower it a bit more. Maybe two meters, and slap that there. Another cutscene? Yes. You're doing great, but maybe it's time to see if we can fly your dreams even further than any sane person would want to go. Whoa, water feature. Since you're well on your way to becoming the next theme park visionary, tell me this. How are you going to overcome the obstacles you're going to face? How am I going to overcome the obstacle? Tunnel through the ones that stand in the way. Shoot the cars over. There's always a way around everyone or ride over everyone. Like a, I'm going to choose this one. Oh, I tell you, this will unlock the tunneling feature. Use the cannon to shoot across. If you don't own it, it will be unlocked. You're on your own. Find the route that suits you. Or this will unlock the off rail. Uh, yeah, we'll do that one. Well, that was more of a rhetorical question. Not that I ever got the hang of those. I mean, if someone asks you something, you're supposed to answer them, right? Right? But sure. Let's see if we can't make your vision a reality. Well, let's go. Let's do it. Tunneling off. Off rail allows you to build crazy coasters that roll over the ground and slide over water. You can build your coaster over the lake using off rail tracks. They are now unlocked. What is this? Off-rail tracks are snapped to ground level when placing them. You can place as many in a row as you like. When you're done, simply raise it or deselect off-rail. It can be used on both land and water. The train will ride on them without a track. If we change the rotation of it a little bit. Here we go. Place that there. Then off-rail module. And can, why can I not straighten it out? It won't let me straighten. So if I go like that. Then we place it to... There, I think it said it changes automatically. So is that right? Make the test train reach it. Okay, so we've got to start with the test train again. I'm going to reset it. We'll speed it up. So it goes along the chain lift. And then it comes down. I don't understand how this is going to work. 
Oh, yeah, that was a bit bumpy there. Oh, it turns into a ball. We just made it's it. It's almost time to strap yourself in and see if this thing shakes any fillings loose. I don't like that this bump. This is amazing. You've gone from building an awesome fire exit to turning your whole apartment complex into a theme park ride. I should really call Phil so he can come see. No need. I can sniff out a roller coaster from 20 kilometers. Hope you don't mind me hitching a ride. Great gravy boats. How on earth did you get a license to build this thing? We didn't. Wonderful. It's so much easier to seek forgiveness than permission. Let's go! Wait, do I get to sit on that now? Oh, I actually get to ride it. We get to see our roller coaster in action. I mean, textures are a bit bumpy, are they not? We ever want to sit in a different seat? Wait, hold up. Swap camera. Oh, there's not like an orbit camera. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Rotate the camera. There we go. And we can swap at any time. Okay, that resets the uh, rotation and stuff. Here we go, chain lift. We're obviously gonna ride this. Come on, get all the way to the top. I'm not liking that snap near the water. That's really, really scary. Here we go, got up nice and high there. And here we go with the drop into the cannon. Go cannon. Okay, that really does pick up the pace, don't it? There's a couple of sections that I think would realistically derail. Chain lift doing its thing. We're going to go through the uh, this massive concrete cylinder, whatever you want to call it. But that was successful. Now we're going across the top of the fresh egg shot. Okay, nice and slow before we get the... I want to see this off the rail bit. Here we go. This is... Oh, this is going to derail, isn't it? I don't like it. It wouldn't let me straighten the track out. I don't, I don't know what's happening with that. Here we go. Oh, that is dodgy. We do actually get some weird ball thing. And then we go through the terrain, because I'm cool at building roller coasters. And we make it to sunshine and fun. Oh my, though. These new coaster modules you've come up with. I'd have never thought to make them. Ah. I'm getting an idea, you know. I've actually been thinking about taking on a protege for a while. Originally, I was going to run a competition. But Izzy wouldn't let me. How would you like to try your hand at the big time? Uh, yes, please. I can't promise that the pay will be good. Uh, the belts of Cloud Stormer are a little tight at the moment. But I can promise you'll learn a lot. <laughs> uh, some of it might even be useful. So, what do you say? I'll take your silence as a yes. <laughs> Come on. I'm double parked. Ooh, I'm coming too. I know you only hired me for the day, but I want to see where this goes. Well, there we go. Maximum rating reached. Congrats. And we can continue or return to the menu. So let's just see what we've got on our hands for the next bit of the campaign. Here we are. Now, 
I know this forest might look spooky from a distance, but once you're in the thick of it, it's merely pantaloon fillingly terrifying. Yes. As choice of locales for a fun-packed family theme park go, this wasn't exactly your finest hour, was it, Phil? Oh, hello. You're the new hire, hmm? I'm Isabel Dillard, Cloudstormer CEO. <laughs> Although sometimes I feel like I actually run a crash. Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? And I don't know why you're picking on this park, Izzy. I've made far worse mistakes. Don't worry. We'll visit those in due course. Anyway, ominously creepy trees aside, this is a fair bit bigger than the test site and your fire exit coaster, hmm? Well, the stakes certainly are. Always pinching those pennies, eh, Izzy? I can't wait to see what our friend here paints with a canvas as large as this. And don't worry. We're not quite throwing you in at the deep end. I'll be right here by your side to answer any questions you have. And I'll be by your other side making a note of how much you spend. She does that whenever we have a business lunch, too. Heaven forfend you have the temerity to order something sweet to finish. Yes, well, if our friend here messes up at this park, they won't have to worry about not getting their just desserts. Oh, lovely. Make mine a cheesecake. Okay, so Phil and Izzy are a weird couple, a weird bunch. Fix the old park. It's definitely seen better days, at least in its current state. There are a lot of areas we need to address before we can start thinking about attracting any visitors. So, that was... I mean, that was crazy. The roller coaster we have just built was insane. And now we have to fix up an old park. It says, with many of the old paths destroyed, visitors cannot visit our attractions and shops. They need to be accessible from the park entrance first. So now we've got a tutorial on paths and connecting them to the entrance and things like that. There's normal paths and there are queue paths as well. The placement settings give you more control over them. Try out the different options and see what works best. You can change the width and everything of them. To delete it, you must be in the path building mode, hover over it and press delete. So that was our very first look at Park Beyond. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.